When I was at the Shanghai International Circuit last time in April for the Formula One race, I couldn't even hear myself talking. But this time, so quiet. The Formula E World Championship Circuit, the world's first net-zero all-electric motorsport series, has returned to China after five years. For those not in the known, Formula E is the highest class of competition for electrically powered single-seater racing cars. Just think of it as Formula One for electric cars. But isn't electric car racing boring? The race is quiet, but it's full of intensity and unpredictable. Last season, the championship was not decided till the last stop. The latest Gen 3 car is 75% more powerful and 95 km per hour faster than the first generation car that took to the streets of Beijing in 2014. I think that was、um, the DNA of Formula E to make things a little bit challenging for the engineers. So not always the same guy basically wins the race. Although these Formula E cars are racing the same track as Formula One at Shanghai International Circuit, they are only using the top part of the Shang-shaped track. The track itself is an amazing construction. It's going to be、uh, again overtakes all the way down. You know, probably when we go to turn one, you will see four cars, four cars in line、um, approaching that, that that first turn. Of the eleven teams taking the track in Shanghai, Alex Hui is the team principal of Chinese-owned ERT, and he is excited to get on the track. Personally, as a race driver, I raced it before.、Um, also, I have my own race team in China,、uh, racing in the touring car. We also race here one or two times every year, so it's like it's like a home for me. Formula E cars can go from zero to sixty kilometers per hour in slightly under two point eight seconds. The races are a lot shorter due to the cars' limited battery life, and races last approximately forty-five minutes to an hour. No tire replacement is needed during the race. Promoting sustainability is the core idea of Formula E racing. All of the freight, 380 tons worth, were transported to Shanghai aboard three cargo planes powered by sustainable aviation fuel from Berlin. This includes cars, batteries, charging devices, and the media and broadcasting equipment. Sustainable aviation fuel, or SAF, can reduce emissions by up to 80 percent compared to traditional jet fuel. From 28 percent sustainable materials into the composite. Of tires. All the tires used in Formula E races are recycled after they are used. To food and drinks. To reduce the use of disposable plastics, free drinking water is provided at the event. And biodegradable plates, cups, and cutlery is used at all food and beverage sales areas to encourage environmentally friendly living habits. This is really cool.、Uh, you get to have your own photo taken as if you were a driver.、Uh, so it's really cool to have. It's included with the ticket, so it's really fun event. Formula One is really fast, but Formula E is really cool. If it was Formula One with the noise, we wouldn't be able to come. With him, but because it's quiet, we can bring the the baby with us. People wouldn't just come to watch electric cars run around the track for fun,、uh, but it definitely helps.、Um, I think it's obviously going to be the future,、uh, so it, it's good to see that it's already organised, so popular, and like I said, a competitive, interesting race to watch as well. Fingers crossed for this afternoon. We also massively limit the amount of staff travel, so and then we need to do carbon offset at the end of the year. So we basically we try to do. Do the whole championship in the greenest way possible. We go green in Beijing. Ten years ago, when the series debuted in Beijing's Olympic Park, it was a huge step into the unknown, as electric cars were only just emerging as a mainstream option in a consumer market, as well as racing. The wave of electrification is being fueled by brands like BYD, by Geely, SAIC, um, uh, uh, Xiaomi. These big, upcoming, fast-growing Chinese brands, and of course, we're talking to them because you know we are an all-electric championship, and, and electricity is, is being fueled out of China. Motor racing has a shorter history here in the country compared to many other countries, but it has been developing very fast in recent years.、Um, we have Zhou Guan. The first、um, F1 driver. Do you think there will be more Chinese drivers、um, in F1? I think what you said, you, you nail it. Because the, the, the reality is that 
20 years ago when we came here for the first race. Uh, even Formula One has struggled quite a lot to, to put uh, a lot of people in the grandstands. Today, and only 20 years after, you can see a first Formula One driver um, uh, there. It takes time that that fan base, fan base transform into, uh, um, into motorsport professionals, but not only in the field of, uh, of a driver. I think we need to look into so many other things. I mean, we need Chinese engineers, which there are quite a few here in, the, in this paddock. We need uh, Chinese team principals, with China being uh, you know, the place or represents 60% of the total global EV sales in the world, which is you know, a figure that is absolutely unbelievable. Such an important market, not only for us, promoters of the Formula E, but also all the, all the ecosystem and the different manufacturers and partners that we have globally. Formula E has continued to reinvent itself year after year and has come a long way in its first 10 years. I wonder what e-racing will be like in another 10 years.